In this video, we'll be looking at how to solve one and two step equation. All of these are linear equation. Now, this is the whole idea of when you're given a linear equation, you want to find the value of the unknown. So you have the left hand side and the right hand side of the equation. You're trying to strike a balance between the left hand side and the right hand side. Now let's solve um, let's solve all the problems on the board. Now the first problem, you can see x minus 8 equals 22. Now, like I said, I want all the variables to be on one side of the equation, precisely on the left hand side, and then all the numbers on the right hand side of the equation. Now the whole idea is that now, if you look at this equation, I don't want numbers to be on the left-hand side. So I want this 8 to get out of here. So how do I do that? Now, what I'm going to do is to add 8 to both sides of the equation. If I do that, plus 8, plus 8, then I can do 8 minus 8 is 0. So x will now be 22 plus 8 is 30. It is pretty simple. So now value of the unknown x is 30. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the next question. Now what I'm doing now, I want to find the value of the unknown. I have a plus 7 and I want this I want this to go to the other side of the equation. So what I need to do is to, um, is to strike a balance between the left hand side and the right hand side of the equation. So I'm going to do, I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides of the equation, because if I subtract 7 from 7, I'm going to get 0 here. So, and so if I do that, so x will now be 2 minus 7 will give me a negative 5. Now for the third question, all I need to do, this simply means when you have an expression of this form, 3x simply means 3 times x. So what I want to do is that, I want, oh sorry, 3y means 3 times y. What I want to do is that I want to find the value of y, which is the unknown. And I don't want 3 to be here. The coefficient of y is 3, so I don't want 3 to be here. So what I need to do is to divide 3, you know, divide both sides of the equation by 3. If I do that, 3 cancel 3, y will now be, this is uh, minus plus will give me minus 21 divided by 3 will give me 7. So my answer will be negative 7. Now the fourth question, um, you can see this. This is a form of fraction. So uh, all I need to do in this, um, when you have a question like this, just cross multiply. If you do that, so x will be 4 times 2, which is 8. That's pretty simple. Now the next question, what we need to do is that, now, we like, like I said, that we want the variable to be on one side and then the numbers on the other side of the equation. Now, I have a plus 3 here. I don't want plus 3 to be here. I want it to be on the other side of the equation. So, what I need to do is to subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. 3 minus 3 will give me 0. So, I'm going to write another, another expression for this equation. So, I have x over 2 equal 5 minus 3 will give me 2. Then the next step is to find the value of the unknown. So I'm going to cross multiply. So x will be 2 times 2 will be 4. That's pretty simple. Now in the last problem, what I need to do here is to, I want to find the value of the unknown. And I don't want, so like I rightly said, all variables on one side, precisely the left hand side, all the numbers will go to the right hand side of the equation. I have a minus 3 here. So I want to get rid of this. So I need to add 3 to both sides of the equation. If I do that, minus 3 plus 3 will give me 0. So I have 2y equal 7 plus 3 is 10. So the next thing, this means 2 times, what we give me um, two, 2 times y. So in order to get y, I'll divide both sides of the equation by 2. So y will be 10 divided by 2 is 5. So this is simple, you know, very simple to solve. Um, linear equation one or two step equation you can always subscribe on my channel which is wealth of math god bless you have a nice day bye